Hello wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's good to see you here again. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little fun, a little different. Um, you probably would have seen from the title of the video that I'm going to be reviewing or testing. Yeah, let's say testing, not reviewing. I'm going to be testing out the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. So, this is it right here. So excited! <laughs> I don't know if you guys would have seen the first video that I ever, that I posted a, a, a month or a few months ago when I first straightened um, my natural 4C hair. So I blow dried it out and I straightened it. In that video, um, I was using a hair dryer and a brush to kind of like blow dry my hair out first before I went in with the straighteners. And I just thought the whole process was so long and draining. Like honestly, it literally wiped me out. I did some research and I ended up looking at this. Um, Revlon hair dryer that I've got here right now and yeah I've been wanting it, it was on my list it was something that I was looking to purchase maybe a few months down the line because I wasn't too sure when I was going to put heat on my hair again like I said there's a little bit of heat damage but it's fine so yeah anyway my birthday has just gone by and my friends wanted to find out what I'd like for my birthday they knew I talked about this um, hair dryer so um, they ended up getting it for me so I'm really excited about it so yeah basically I'm just going to use it <laughs> and hopefully it works out and I don't get heat damage. Well, I don't get as bad as the heat damage that I did last time because of course when you put heat on your hair, the likelihood of there being damage, it's always kind of like there. But I'm just gonna be a bit more careful um, than I was last time because I think last time I didn't know what I was doing. It's very spontaneous, I didn't do my research. And now, yeah, my hair's kind of like broken and I've got like straight pieces and yeah, but you know what, at least I did it to myself and it wasn't professional, otherwise I'd been very, very upset about it. But yeah, I'm really excited about this because I've seen lots of positive reviews when it comes to this. Um, yeah, I still have my wrapping paper on it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited to open it up. Yeah, this is what the box looks like, as you guys can see. And then on the back, it's got like a, um, a, an image of what the um, product is supposed to look like. So let's just go ahead and open it up and see what we've got on the, well, what's on the inside. Okay, so literally it's just this in the box. <laughs> yeah, there's this big ass box and it's just this inside. I'm pretty sure we could they could have maybe like found a smaller way of packaging this I guess. Um, but yeah anyway so this is what it's looking like. Okay so it comes with um, some instruction manuals. So yeah I'm just gonna put that to the side because I feel like this is very self-explanatory so I don't really need to do much with it. But yeah it's quite easy to hold actually. It's really big. It's like the size of my head. <laughs> do you know what my friends? They were saying when they got it, they were a little bit worried because they felt like it was too, it's so big and I have quite a small head. As you guys can see, my head is really small. Like Literally, this is the size of my face. They were worried that it's not going to do the job properly. I don't know, but um, hopefully it works out. I'm really excited about it. So yeah, I'm just taking off the plastic from the plug area. Yeah, so yeah, this is literally what it looks like. There's nothing added to it. It's literally like a hairbrush. Feels pretty good and sturdy. Of course, this the outer uh, material is made out of plastic. Obviously, got the Revlon logo on the bottom, and then I'm guessing this is like the generator for the um, hair dryer. So yeah, I'm just gonna plug this in. and I'm gonna get started on my hair. Oh, I can't get the plastic off the plug. Oh my god, I'm gonna break it before I even use it. What's going on here? Okay, so it's all plugged in um, and ready to go, I guess. So. Wait, I'll just put it on. Okay, so I'm guess this is the on and off button right here. I'm guessing was it a dial? Okay. okay, cool. So it's like a rotational kind of thing to get it going. But yeah, it does feel pretty easy. Anyway, okay, so um basically what I want to do is I want to blow out my I want to blow out my hair because I want to do a sleep pony again. Um yeah, I'm just really bored of wearing wigs and stuff and i just taken my hair out with braids and I washed it today and I detangled it. I haven't put heat protector in yet so I'm going to do that on camera with you guys. I'm going to show you guys what I've been using. But basically, today I went into Superdrug and I spent a lot of money. Like a lot. I wasn't expecting it but I'm fine, I guess. <laughs> Because when it comes to hair care, I mean, you can never have too much. But to be fair, I have run out of most of my hair care products. Um, obviously, because we've been in lockdown, so I haven't been able to go out and buy all the things that I would normally buy when I need it. Um, so obviously, a lot of my products have actually run out. Like, the only thing I have right now is conditioner. But anyway, yes, I went to Superdrug, and obviously, they're now stocking um, black hair care. I've never really showed you guys kind of, like, what I use on my hair and anything like that. But basically, I, I normally use the Cream of Nature um, conditioner, the deep conditioner. That's what I use. Um, along with the Cantu shampoo and conditioner then I go in with the cream of nature deep conditioner to kind of like intensify and moisturize my hair. Run out of shampoo so I decided to buy the 
um, cream of nature shampoo. I've never used it before, so this is the first time I've bought it. I actually really liked it. Um, again, soft foot free, so it's good for natural hair, and it has a bunch of other um, positive stuff that I don't know about, but I just use it because I know it's natural. And then this is where my 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 um my bill went super high. Cream of nature. You can't even see it. Oh gosh. Oh, can you see it? I went ahead and I purchased the Shea Moisture um, Strengthen and Reshore Conditioner and this is with Shea Butter, Peppermint and Apple Cider Vinegar and then I went in and I bought the um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion as well and oh my gosh, this hair lotion, I will definitely say for the first time ever, I put in hair cream in my hair and it lit my hair literally absorbed it. Normally when I use um, hair cream, like, I always get kind of like white... Um, I just get this white kind of thing going on in my hair because apparently like my hair is low peroxy, low proxy hair I guess, this is what I've read, so it doesn't absorb heavy products so um, it's just hard to maintain moisture and then my hair breaks and I'm always losing hair, like literally just coming out of the shower now, I was so panicked because I was like whoa this is like literally a palm full of hair even when I came out of the shower and I brushed my hair again palm full of hair and I'm just like this is not normal like I'm losing hair obviously I've had my hair in braids for about a month but that's not enough reason for it to just be falling out like legit falling out like I'll touch my scalp and there's hair in my palm you know so that really panicked me a little bit so I don't know if that's because it's super dry but I need to do more research so yeah um so I'm going to start doing more research on how to take care of my natural hair um, because clearly what I'm doing is just not working um, so yeah I just want it to flourish like I'm not saying I need it to be the longest but I definitely don't want to be seeing like palms of hair in my hand when I do in the shower when I wash my hair so anyway yeah so I purchased the sheer moisture um, conditioner and the hair lotion so I'm gonna see how that goes I really wanted the shampoo but the, the, the shampoo was out of stock so I'm gonna go back again I'm gonna buy the shampoo for the next time I want to um, wash my hair so yeah um, I will let you know how I get on with these products so hopefully um, they do good for me because I know a lot of people are raving on about shea moisture and I'd really love to kind of like see some results and progress with my hair because I just like I said I don't want to be seeing the shedding that I'm seeing because it's just way too much and it's too scary <laughs> anyway okay so i'm gonna take my little turban off and you're gonna see my hair it's definitely shrunk whoa you can see the line from where i had the turban and oh my goodness it still feels so moisturized like wow because my hair is really soft in general anyway i have soft hair but i I'm touching it right now and I can feel like the moisture so if I feel like it's hydrated I'm really excited to see how this product kind of like holds up in my hair but yeah this is what it's looking like right now I know you guys are probably thinking you said like I said oh I have heat damage I do have heat damage a lot of it has kind of like fallen out already like I'm not gonna zoom in close but when I zoom in close you can see like there's a little bit of like straight pieces in that and I just feel like the texture of my hair has changed a lot like my curls used to, I could literally feel my curls when I touched my scalp. They were so defined and I could literally feel them all over my scalp. And now I don't have that. Like, I just feel like I have a frizz ball. <laughs> and on this side, on this half of my hair as well, I feel like it had the worst heat damage because a lot of the hair broke off. So when I stretch it out, this side, I feel, is longer than this side. So a lot of the hair is kind of falling out on this side as well as because I sleep on this side a lot as well. So I don't know if that, like, contributes to the fact that my hair breaks. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so this is what it's looking like. You're probably thinking it looks exactly the same if you watch my hair video when I straightened it. <laughs> but I definitely feel a difference. Like, I feel like there's a huge difference in the texture and just the way it kind of looks. Like I said, I've already moisturized my hair. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and I bought this Tresemme um, heat defense spray. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and put some heat defense in my hair. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry it out. Hopefully this, this Revlon thing does the job. <laughs> How do I even open this? Like, hold on. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. It smells good though. Oh wow. So my hair is pretty saturated. So I'm just going to quickly comb my hair with this white tooth comb. I'm just going to get this comb and I'm going to section it off because I don't know how this is going to work. So I'm just sectioning off the back. Okay, so I've got this little section here. So I'm just going to work with that first. So wish me luck, guys. Okay. I'm just looking in the mirror because I'm generally surprised. Okay. I mean, I knew it was going to do a good job, but I didn't think it was going to do like, an, like a good job on me just because I thought my hair would be too short. 
I'm really surprised. That's actually really easy. That's actually not bad. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Revlon. Revlon. Doing your thing. Okay, let me section off the second part. We're going in again. I feel like if it could go up a notch, just one more, just up a notch with the heat, it would definitely stretch out my hair a little more but I'm guessing this is a good thing that it's not stretching out too much because again I don't want heat damage but this is what the back is looking like I'm not bad about that actually I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my hair but I'm really liking it's so easy actually very easy thank you Eunice thank you YOLO looks like this present is working out okay <laughs> Okay, do you know what I'm noticing though, guys? It is getting hot, re like it's getting hot really quickly. Like that's scaring me a little bit though. Like it's, I could fry an egg on this right now. Like even here as well where the motor is, I feel like it's warming up really quickly. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to cool down just a second because it is worrying me a little bit, a little bit. Just go ahead and finish it off now. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish. Okay, on to this last little section. Okay guys, so as you can see, my hair is, well, has been blow dried. <laughs> it's literally like sticking, I'm just roughening it up a little bit right now, just because, because I was brushing it, I feel like it styled it. But yeah, my hair is all blowed out now. I'm not mad at all, like at all. It definitely, definitely did the job. <laughs> I'm just. I should have brushed my hair then come back. Just give me a second. Give me a quick second. Oh, now my hair can't fit into the frame. Look at that, would you look at that? Okay, so this is, I guess, the final results. This is as blow dried as it's gonna get. I mean, I would definitely say I, it could, there are, you know, it's not as stretched out as it could be because obviously like, you know, if I pulled it out, you can see there's still more length to kind of like go but i think for what it's worth it definitely has made the blow drying process easier let me show you the back so this is the back so i would definitely say it really i really like it it really made this blowout process a lot easier and faster than it normally um would be so i definitely would say i like it like i definitely would give it a thumbs up you can even see there's a little bit of my hair in here let's see how much hair it caught not a lot actually Okay, so that much hair, that's actually not bad. Because I was really surprised at the fact that, like, I, honestly, if I, I would take this camera off, but I'm not going to, but I would show you guys the floor right now. There is no, there's barely any hair. Like, I could literally just pick it up and that would be it. And yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I am really surprised. I mean, I knew, I, I knew it worked because I've seen the videos. That's why I wanted it. I just didn't know. You know when you always feel like it might not work for you? But it did get hot pretty quickly. That's because I'm just breaking it in. So it's, you know, it's going full force. I don't know. Um, you guys saw there were barely any heat vapors coming out of my hair um, and it was really easy, it wasn't painful, like the brush actually went through my hair and you guys can see it's still going through my hair right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually really pleased, I'm pleased that it got me to this stage because for me to achieve this literally took me an hour last time and I said I'd never do it again, like ever. How long did this take? I wish I timed it. I'd say maybe like 20 minutes, less even, that it took to do this. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the outcome. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna, you know, sleek my hair up. Ooh, and I'm gonna put my ponytail in and I'm gonna come back. But yeah, I just messed up my hair. <laughs> now I look like, what was that character? I don't know, is it Jimmy Neutron? Yeah, I feel like I look like Jimmy Neutron right now. But yeah, um, I don't know why I've done this now. <laughs> 
No, I'm really happy. Revlon, you did the thing. You did the thing, Revlon. Okay, I'll be back in a second, guys. Give me a sec. And I am back. And I've got my ponytail in and I'm feeling like a bad bee, honey. <laughs> So yeah, this is the final look. This is literally why I wanted to blow dry out my hair, just so I can put some gel in it, sleek it back, and then add this gorgeous piece to it. Hello. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is it for the video, guys. Um, so yeah, this product, oh my gosh, it's definitely a win. I actually realized like it's so easy and I'm taking for granted the fact that I didn't burn my scalp this time. There was no heat vapors. There was no sweating under the under the blow dryer because it's literally like too hot for you. Like another thing I did notice, the heat only comes out from, comes up from half of the paddle brush. So literally just the top half as you're brushing it through, you know, it, it spreads the heat, I guess. But yeah, like it's such a handy little tool and it's so comfortable on the hand as well. Literally, I could wash, condition, blow dry my hair and leave in two hours. You know what I mean? I can get all that done in two hours. Yeah, I'm really pleased that I have it. So thank you to Eunice and Yolo. Like, I'm really pleased with this product. You guys know I'm going to be using it. And when you come around mine, I'm going to make sure I hide it so you guys don't get to use it. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Revlon. I can understand the hype about this product, for sure. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, you can follow me on my social media. I'll leave all that on screen. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, share it if you want to share it with your friends and again leave your thoughts and comments down below and as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content on your feed I guess or you just want to see more of me <laughs> as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye